by sometime this weekend and help Daphne clean up this place to get you started off right. Now you're ready to keep up your end of this deal, yeah? Okay, we got weekly AA meetings. You gotta go to school. You gotta get a GPA that uh, is passing. You gotta get a part-time job to make sure that you contribute to the cost of living. And then you got counseling, right? Right there. Wow. It's just one thing at a time. Honey. One thing at a time. Someone you need to talk to? No? It's just curious, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Emma, what's in the plastic bag? Is your foster? Are you that one? I'm trying to drop a class. Coach doesn't have anyone else on the team at that weight. Gonna have to pull me from the bench. That takes serious dedication. Well, I've trained you well. I thought you weren't talking to me. Because you're your mom? Nah. Okay, I'm not big on icing people out. That's why I don't hang out with girls. Hmm. Since you're dropping weight, I guess you won't be eating this. Ah. Mm. Is that usual mustard? So, how are the kids? Teenagers, but pretty great considering. And we're fostering two more now, we're planning to adopt them. Hoping to. Wow, you and Steph are so brave. <laughs> Is that code for insane? Well, yes, but then that's kind of insane. So, cycle regular? Yes. And uh, any pain, any tenderness in your breasts? Uh, only when I'm PMSing. Okay, good. So, do you have any questions for me? Am I too old to get pregnant? Are you serious? No. Not really. And that would be insane. The bad kind. <laughs> well, it's something you want. I did. Uh, and then I met Steph, and Steph already had Brandon, and then the twins, and now Jude and Callie. I guess I just want to know even possible? You can't just come in here anytime you want. I need my privacy. I had to bring my bag up. No. No, oh, no, 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 no. We need to establish some ground rules. Number one, when you see this on the door, it means, it means I'm taking a little Jesus time. <laughs> What's so funny? I think I know what Jesus time means. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Look, hat on the door, don't come in. Got it? But that's not fair. My rule, my rules. Fine.
So I thought I could help you buy a car. I mean, just look at it as a belated wedding present. You mean the wedding you didn't attend? No, I mean the wedding I wasn't invited to. Well, that's a convenient way of looking at it, Dad. No, I was coming to the wedding until you told me not to. I told you not to come unless you could really support our marriage. Well, I have been nothing but respectful towards you and Lena and the family. I, I've accepted your lifestyle. My lifestyle? <laughs> you know, I'm really trying here. Steph, I'm trying to make it right by you, so cut me a little slack with you. Let's take the car back then. tomorrow. You finally get to see your brother. Nervous? No. Who else is coming? My, um, foster moms. I don't even know what to call them anymore. Um, the kids, I guess. What about Brandon? Well, I don't know. He's speaking to somebody. Took my phone. Dr. Hillcroft today. Oh yeah, she doing well? Yeah, she does well. She was um, asking me. Come in. Hey, honey, what's up? So I heard everyone's going to town today. Might go. Uh huh. But Callie and I never should have kissed. Caught up in the moment. The way. Brandon, you said you're in love with her. I don't know. I, I, I guess I got all messed up when she ran away. What did you do? Look, I get it. I just really want to start putting all this behind us so we can be a family again. And we should trust you? Yes. I wonder if I'll sleep on it. Someone bring my boyfriend to family day. I think I'm 
adopting my brother, so. Foster brother. I'm sorry. It's okay if you're angry. I'm not. It's just you always push everybody away. I just never thought that you'd do it to me. What was it? No, Jude, I was trying to protect you. took out a restraining order against your son. Want to explain why he's sitting on my couch? He just wants things to get back to normal. Hmm. You trust him? We're actually not sure. We were hoping that today would help to answer that. Risky strategy. Well, Brandon's our son. If we ever want to be able to bring Callie home, we're going to have to deal with it sooner or later, so. Hmm. I think you might need to have a conversation with Callie. She's applied for our independent living program. 
She's trying to get her own apartment. So, what are you guys gonna do when you get out of here? You get my daughter back, first thing. I got a list. I'm gonna be a nurse or like a kindergarten teacher. I'm joining the army so I can shoot a sweeper. Or maybe an actress. I wanna be a beautician and an archaeologist and a housewife and a mom. Ooh, me too. I'm gonna be a mom. I hate kids. How are you guys doing? Yeah. 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 It's over. I didn't write that. Well, well, someone did. I don't even have my phone. Somebody took it from my car. I thought he threw it out and I killed him. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. It's, just, it's okay. I'm, I'm just happy you didn't. I didn't. We're just talking. Yeah, that's okay. Talking was allowed. about independent living. I was gonna tell you. So is that is that that's really what you want to do? Um, I wanna thank you for everything. <coughs> and for Dr. Jude. So it said I'm not in the alliance. Five. I mean, how is a 16-year-old girl allowed to live on her own? I don't know. How is she even allowed to make that choice so soon? Shouldn't it be some sort of cooling off period before we let a, a teenage runaway make a, a major life decision? That makes me sad, too. She has an entire lifetime to be alone. Why make things so hard on herself now? You think she's doing this so she can be with Brandon? I hope not. I'm busy. I need my homework. Come back later. In the bag. Okay, I know that you didn't throw my phone away. And I know that you've been texting Brandon. I'm doing you a favor. You can't have a boyfriend while you're in here. Can't do drugs either. Oh, fuck. It's in your bag, right? What's the deal? You give me my phone back. I won't get read that. It's not what you think. Wait. So it phrases, says I'm not in the alliance twice.
I'm gonna stop it. I hope you don't think that you and I are gonna have issues, but no, it's not like that. Hey, it's my room too. Well, too bad. You can't just write rules as you go. You can't just block me out. Oh, dude! Hey, what's going on here? He was putting a stupid hat on the door so he could have Jesus time. Wow. Is that true? I'm gonna go. Talk to you later, Jesus. Jesus, be the big brother, please. We will be back to discuss this. Jude, we need to talk. You can't throw things at people. That's not how we solve our problems here. He's just kicked me out of my room, and he shouldn't have done that. He's gonna hear about it, but that's not an excuse for me. I'm sorry. Never again, bud. He called it his room. His room? Maybe he did something at Jesus, just like a room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a drug addict. Okay, I'm serious. These weren't drugs, <coughs> drugs. They're hormones. I can't wait any longer to be put in an LGBT home or to turn 18 so I can get a doctor to prescribe them to my parents. And A, like sign off for the consent. Did you see any parents there from Young Family today? That's five in a row. You don't approve. <laughs> they think that me being a boy is just code for me being a lesbian, which they're not cool with either. Told me that I could be a girl or get out. Making my own for 10 months. Did what I had to do to survive, to pay for the hormones. Got busted. Got sent to Juvie, got sent here. I've been off me for a few months and my body is, is freaking out, reverting back to. I need to use your phone to call my hookup so I can get back on the hormones. <clears throat> the thing was just me being a jerk. I'm sorry. You may have noticed I've got some anger issues. Are they safe? Hormones? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're exactly what I would get if I was allowed to see a doctor. Well, just tell me when you need to use the phone and I'll give it to you. No more impersonating me. <laughs> Deal. Must be missing this. So this is a uh, independent living. Sweet deal. Well, it's not like they just give you an apartment. 
do a lot of stuff, like um, counseling, and um, special classes. But yeah, no, it was, um, we were doing a tour. Um, the bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room. It's, it's spacious. This place is too white, though. You don't want to paint mine. LCD right over there. Killer sound system. That costs too much. We have to get a nice kitchen table first. <laughs> you have a, a nice kitchen table yeah. over a TV? Where else are you going to eat on breakfast? Oh, well, I do make some serious pancakes. And I can serenade you anytime you please. Listen up. The doctors are going to be monitoring Cole for the next couple of hours. He took a very large dose of street hormones, and that caused a seizure. And when he fell, he hit his head. He told me they were just like the kind that a doctor would give him. Well, they may be, but they cause a tremendous amount of side effects, which is why you have to get them from a doctor. You're his roommate. I didn't give him the drugs. I'm not a narc. Yeah, but you were supposed to be accountable for him. It's different. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm doing the best I can. No, you're not. You never say nothing in group. When you do, you just say what you think we want to hear. You always asking us to cover for you. But we always know <coughs> all you care about is getting out of here. So if you don't want to be here, then go. If you don't take this seriously, you're screwing it up for the rest of us. And we need this. How am I screwing it up? None of you want to be here. We're just, we're just here because the court made us. Yeah, but we ended up here because we didn't have nobody to look out for us. And you've got people. Yeah, you've got your brother. You've got a family that wants you. So what are you doing here? Four-door sedan, 5200, air CD player, power windows, anchor points for a baby seat, <laughs> a 
Got those days are behind us. But I give it still years old. There's no warranty. If it breaks down, we're right back in the same exact position we're right now. Minus $5,200. Yeah. So here's a minivan. Uh, 2009, a little above our price range. Mm -hmm. I mentioned it violates our sacred oath never to drive a minivan. But we can always accept Frank's gift. No. I'm not saying that we should. I'm just saying that we could no. revisit. You know, it's, it's like he's saying, I can't support your marriage because I'm a bad father. But here, here's a new car to make up for my ignorance and intolerance. By taking the car, it's like we're saying that it's okay and it's, it's not okay. It's not, but intolerance works both ways. I'm sorry, exactly how am I intolerant? You're not, to me. But we're operating under the assumption that we're right and he's wrong. He is wrong. Yes, of course he's wrong. But in his perspective, he's right and we're wrong. So maybe he is just trying to meet us halfway because he loves you and he loves our family and he wants to keep that relationship with us. No, my dad says a problem. He writes a check. Boom, problem solved. Maybe this isn't a parent. Maybe this is just a nice gesture. There would have been a better gesture coming to the wedding. In all fairness, you asked him not to come to the wedding unless he changed his beliefs. Yes, his bigoted beliefs. Except it would be like if he invited us to dinner, but only if we registered Republican first. Well, he must really like this car. Oh, th that is not fair. This has nothing to do with the car. I'm just thinking that this is a real opportunity for you to talk things out with him. I have been down this road with him so many times, Lena. And you know that. Step. Step. Dr. Hillcroft, hi. Hi, Lena. So, I got your test results. Your levels are all good. So that means I still have time? Well, actually, at your age, uh, levels can drop drastically in a pretty short period. Okay, what does that mean? Well, if you want to get pregnant, could it be now or never? Oh. So... Would you like me to start you on prenatal vitamins? I could call in a prescription. We're right about you, you know. You don't commit. And we nearly lost Cole. That's not fair. Of course it isn't. But that's how it works. Now I know exactly what you're doing, Kelly. <laughs> Another person to tell me who I am. I've been married a couple times. My first husband. We just got Yeah. Let me guess. Something terrible happened to him and you've never forgiven yourself. I cheated on him. I was so insecure. I didn't think I was smart enough or funny enough or thin enough for him to ever really love me. Yeah. I never felt safe. I couldn't ever trust, so I couldn't ever commit. I was so sure that everything was going to be taken from me. Then I took it away from myself. I don't really know why, Callie, but you do the same exact thing. Always with one foot out the door, never taking the time to really connect. I think it's because you're scared. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm on my own. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because you think it's safer that way. Okay.